Welcome back to The Messy Cook. Uh, it's been a while. Today I am making brownies. So I do have a recipe for these which I will post at the end. Uh, I'm going to do a double batch. I'm going to do one batch for work and one batch for my husband's work and a couple, uh, keep a couple for home. So what I've done here is I've put uh, the double batch is uh, four cups of white sugar. I'm putting it in my KitchenAid. You can do a single batch, whatever works best for you. Uh, to one and a third cup of cocoa powder, cacao powder, whatever you call it. I call it cocoa powder. We're going to put that in. I'm going to mix it on low just to get them combined here. And I've got some other ingredients mixed out. Or, sorry, I should say uh, ready here. So what we're going to add in is eight eggs, uh, a cup and a third of melted margarine or butter. I use butter because I prefer that. Um, one teaspoon of salt, uh, three cups of flour, I didn't already say that, two teaspoons of baking powder, and you can use nuts or chocolate chips if you like to top it with. Uh, I did chocolate chips, I don't really, I'm not a huge nut fan in desserts, depending on what it is. Um, and of course some vanilla. So I've mixed the sugar and the cocoa powder, I'm going to measure out uh, the flour, and we're going to get the rest of the ingredients in. Okay, so I've got everything else basically measured out. Uh, next step is we're going to add in the butter and the eggs and uh, the vanilla. We're going to beat it till smooth. It's going to make a super thick batter, uh, especially once we add the flour in. So we're just going to make sure this is locked. I'm going to turn this on. Uh, first, I'm going to add in the butter. So we're just going to kind of drizzle that in. You can see it's going to make a really rich, rich chocolate brownie. That's getting mixed in there. You can hopefully see this forward a little bit so you can see a little bit better. There you go. So there's our mixture. And I'm going to add in the eggs. I've got them all uh, set in the bowl here. And we'll just add a couple at a time or one at a time. So this looks kind of grainy right now, but it won't. So we're going to just add in one yolk at a time. I'm going to mix, turn it up a little bit here just to get it mixing a little bit better. We don't want to add them all at once because they might not mix as well and we want to make sure this is really well incorporated. So I'm just going to continue to mix these. Okay, so I've got this all mixed together and I'm going to add in the vanilla. So normally it's uh, one teaspoon. I'm going to add in two. So we'll just add this vanilla. Now I did scrape after I did a mix just to make sure everything is all mixed up from the bottom. We want to be sure all the flour and the uh, um, cocoa powder is all mixed in there. So there we go. I did a little over, but that's okay. It brings the flavor out nicely. We also want um, a teaspoon of salt, which I'm going to add at this point. I'm going to have to do two half teaspoons because I just used one for the vanilla and I don't want to stick it in there. So the vanilla um, helps balance the flavor as well as the salt. So you get that really nice taste. So we're going to just mix that in real quick. And then we're going to add in, I have three cups of flour. I also need two teaspoons of baking powder. So I'll just add that baking powder uh, right to the flour and then we can add it all in. So it's gonna be six half teaspoons, sorry, four half teaspoons of baking powder. Remember, baking powder, not baking soda. You will not get the correct result if you use baking soda. So you want that. This will just give a little bit of a lift when we're baking. So that's all mixed in with a little mix through here and we're going to add in just a little bit at a time. If you do too much or if you have the mixer too high it's just going to puff all over the place. So we're just going to gradually mix that in until the uh, three cups is mixed in. So I'm going to continue with that and come back. Okay as you can see I have mixed all of the flour and all the ingredients in here. I'm going to lift this up. Um, I just want to be sure to make sure we get all the little bit of flour bits there. Um, knocked off. I'm going to again just scrape the sides. We want to be sure everything is combined. This is, as you can see, I'm going to show you here. This is a really thick batter, but that's okay. You haven't done anything wrong. It's supposed to be thick. This is what kind of gives it that chewy, um, dense consistency that's really good in a nice brownie. So that is pretty mixed. I'm just going to scrape this off the best I can there. Uh, I know you'd be tempted to eat this, but don't because it has raw eggs in it, but it is delicious. <laughs> so I'm going to give that one quick last little mix there. 
and everything's combined. So that's basically it. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this. Uh, it goes in a 9 by 13 pan. So we're going to divide this between two pans because, again, I doubled the recipe. And we're going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. So let me get this bowl off. I'm going to tidy up a little bit. I'm going to come back with the pans. We'll get it in and I'll show you how I top them. Okay, so I've got everything somewhat tidied up here. I'm just going to use some cooking spray. You could use Pam spray. It doesn't have to be flavored or anything. And I'm just going to give a very quick little spray to a two 9 by 13 plans, uh, pan. Sorry, you can butter it as well. You don't have to flour these. This is just a little tiny coating of uh, some spray. You can use oil if you want, butter, margarine, whatever. Just a little something. So yeah, we have quite a bit here. So I'm going to I can turn this, try to split this half and half. Get a big blob in the middle of each one first. And then, now this isn't gonna make a thick layer, but when it bakes, it's gonna give that extra puff. And that's what's gonna give it, sorry, there we go. That's what's gonna give it a little bit of height. And this will make two full pans. Trust me, this makes quite a bit said it doesn't look like it should based on what we've got in the pan right now but it will now if you don't have a stand mixer hand mixer will do just fine remember it is going to be a little uh it's a very thick dough so it'll be a little tougher to mix but it will work so just go ahead and do that so we're just going to mix that here it looks like a couple pieces stuck but that's okay Alrighty, so we're just going to spread this this is going to spread out to be centimeter centimeter and a half thick on both pans. So I'm going to get both done and we'll top them. Okay, so I've spread these out. Uh, it is a thick uh, batter, like I said, so it's going to take a couple minutes here and there to get this spread out. It's not going to be perfectly even, just do as even as possible. And don't be tempted to lick that spatula, even though it's probably delicious. So there's a few things you can do. If you like nuts, you can either mix the nuts in your batter. Um, if you want them all throughout your brownies, you can do that before you put it in the pan. Uh, like I said, I personally don't like them, but you can do any kinds of nuts. Walnuts, pecans, almonds, hazelnuts, cashews, whatever you like. You can also top these with anything you like as well. I personally just like simple old, I do milk chocolate chips. Um, I have done milk and uh, white chocolate, dark chocolate mix. Um, yeah, it's just, it's your preference, whatever you like. So I would probably do about a cup on each one. I'm just going to sprinkle till the tops are pretty much not totally covered but pretty covered if anybody uh, remembers mrs fields again like i said at the beginning these are very much like mrs fields chocolate ch uh sorry brownies they were super expensive back in the day it was i think it was in the 90s probably when they closed they were not cheap but they were worth every penny this honestly is the closest thing i have come to finding anything even like it so if you had mrs fields and you enjoyed them and you gotta try these um, now the other thing too that might be a nice a nice thing to do is if you like um, if you can find like dark cacao or cocoa powder um, you can use that as well and it'll make a little bit a uh, little bit darker chocolate brownie and then having those uh, mixed chocolate chips on the top is really lovely so I may have done it over the cho overdone the chocolate chips, but they're delicious. So I like to bake it like this. Um, so these are going to be baked in the 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to check them at 20. Well, I'll check them at 20 minutes because there's two pans. Uh, when we check it, we're going to stick a toothpick in, not where the chocolate chips are, but in just a part where the cake is. When it comes out smooth, it's done. It's still going to look a little bit cakey, but trust me, they are cooked through. You won't have that raw dough in the middle. That you sometimes get with brownies that people undercook them to make them chewy these are cooked through and still chewy so we're going to pop these in the oven and uh, going to come back um, when 20 minutes is up and check on them okay so while those brownies are in the oven i'm just going to give you the recipe here so uh, right here you'll see 350 degrees 20 to 25 minutes we have two cups this is for one recipe now remember i doubled it so one recipe will make one nine by 13 pan. Two cups of white sugar, two thirds of a cup of cocoa powder, two thirds of a cup of margarine or butter. Like I said, I use butter, but it's a preference, whatever you like. Four eggs, one half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, not soda, baking powder, 
And then I'd forgotten originally when I wrote this down a teaspoon of vanilla. Um, you can also add in a two cups of nuts uh, if you like or chocolate chips on the top if you like. So what you do is you combine the sugar and the cocoa powder till it's mixed. Add the margarine or butter, uh, the eggs. I add the vanilla usually at that time as well. And then add the dry ingredients. You beat until it's just nice and smooth. Uh, pour this batter into a 9 by 13 pan that's been greased so you can butter it, oil it, spray it with pan, spray whatever works. Uh, now if you want to do nuts or chocolate chips uh, to sprinkle on the top, this is the time to do it. You are going to book, uh, sorry, bake at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes and then let it cool in the pan. So hopefully that helps. I hope you can see that all right there. And if you have any questions, definitely put something in the comments and let me know and I can answer whatever you need. So we're going to let these finish baking and come back. Okay, so the beeper is just going off now. So this is 20 minutes. I'm going to take one of them out real quick and just be careful with it and test it real quick just to see if it's enough time or we need the other five minutes, which I think we're going to need. We may even need 10 more only because there's two pans in here. So we're going to stick this in, not, like I said, you don't want to put it in. Yeah, that's still really wet. So we wanted to put that back in. So. We don't want to put it in a chocolate chip because that can confuse us. So I'm actually going to turn the pan around here just so it's we'll put it on the other side and the other one is going to go in. So I'm just turning these pans around. I'm going to put them in for another, I think I'm going to do about seven minutes because I do have two in here and we're going to come back and check. Okay, so I've taken both pans out and I have uh, double checked a couple times. You can see a couple holes there. So you stick in where the chocolate chips aren't, and this has come out completely clean. I've done this on my second pan as well. So that was uh, exactly 25 minutes. So I have to let these cool to room temperature. Uh, once they're done, we'll take them out of the pan, cut them up and try one, and uh, let you know what I think. Okay, so the brownies came out of the oven. I cooked them at 350 for exactly 25 minutes. So if you're doing just one single batch, uh, do it for 20 minutes and check and that'll probably be enough. Uh, these are actually really, really delicious. I'm just going to zoom in here. You can see them and I packaged them up to take to work tomorrow. You can see they've got some nice moisture in them there. And yeah, they're really, really delicious. I've tried one already and the smell in here is absolutely amazing. So I hope you try this recipe. Uh, don't forget to come back. Uh, join me again. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell for a reminder whenever a new video goes up. Take care. Thanks for joining me and definitely, definitely try these brownies out. I know you're going to love them.